welcome back to Community Storytelling Season 3. And we have Season 3. We had Season 1 and we had Season 2 because of Linda Lester. We could not do this show without Linda Lester. So thank you, Linda. We love you. I'm Lisa Chrysler. These unbelievable, colorful canvases behind me are from Jayco Art House here in Los Gatos. Stop by and see what they have. And now I get to introduce you to my guest. And I must be honest, I'm interviewing my cousin. And you say, okay. Now we're going a little too far. We're putting relatives on the show. You may know this guy. And if you don't know him now, you'll want to know him, especially if you love to read books. Lloyd Russell, I never thought I'd be interviewing you. Ditto. But not only that, you're a Los Gatos resident. Yes, you for walk, many years. You walk the streets. Yep. What are some of your favorite spots in Los Gatos? <sighs> Number of the restaurants. You, yes. <laughs> I know because your wife, Joni, does not cook. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while. Yes. <laughs> um, coffee shops. Yes. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I'm so used to going in and out. Uh, Rosie Yogurt, big, big fan of Rosie Yogurt. Of course. Uh, and so that's about it. And so now everybody's saying, okay, so why are you interviewing him? He has not said anything yet. <laughs> Lloyd is the biggest book lover I know. And I thought my guy Jeff was a big book lover, but you're even bigger. You're so big, you have a surname. Book Sage, which is actually, I guess, your blog, your website. What do we call that? Yeah, that, that is, the Book Sage is my, um, my blog site. Uh, the name? Th the name is, it came from, uh, I think it came from my wife. Uh, and, Joni? Yes. Uh, and um, it's just uh, the moniker I use for any kind of, of uh, book-related um, social media. So how many books do you think you read a year? I actually know exactly how many books I read. Do you, do you I keep, keep track? Yes, really? I do. Really? So? 65 to 70. Is Well, now, I must tell you, somebody's done more than that. Oh, I know people that have done many more than that. We had Larry Stone in here, yeah. uh, the county assessor, who is also a uh, reader. But he was he's friends with Bill Clinton. He was at the White House once. He asked Bill, how many books do you read a year? And even while he was president, 90 to 100. Really? Yes. Oh, that's cool. I mean, how can you, how can you read 65 books? I read in every available free moment. Uh, when I go to the dentist for a cleaning, I'm hoping that they'll do a root canal because that's two hours where I can hold the book up and read. Uh, pumping gas and other places that we won't even talk so about. So you're one of those people we see walking around with a book and we're saying, really? Really? If I go shopping with Joni, I'm walking behind her while reading. And you read on a Kindle or you read hardbacks or paperbacks? Only, only paper. Only paper. Yeah. I don't do Kindle either, but I tend to buy hardbacks because they're the first ones that come out with the book and I want to see it. Yeah, yeah. It depends on, it depends on why I'm reading a particular book. Many of them I'm reading because I follow that author, but I also read a lot of books from local authors. So whether it's hardcover or paper, uh, will you know whatever they've got out is what will determine what I read. So there's so much more than just reading all these books. Many of them you said are local. How do you know when they're local? Do you do some research before time? I do a lot of research. Um, I get recommendations from uh, other authors who have author friends in the area. Um, I went to a a, a, um, a book signing uh, the other night for an author that was recommended to me by a local, and this one's local. So I like to, to check out local authors and see maybe if they want to come to the book club that we run over at Recycle. You want to drop any names on us? Um, well, we've gotten a, a, a quite a few authors who actually are nationally known authors. Uh, uh, Meg Waite Clayton, uh, Sheldon Siegel, uh, Kara Black. I mean, these are all authors that have had, you know, a lot of books uh, published. So it's become not just your hobby, it's... Uh, it's more of a career, but you don't get paid for it. Or do you get paid for it? <laughs> I do not get paid for it. I, <laughs> I currently have a full-time job, and this is what I do on the weekends and the, and the evenings. What got, now, I've known you all your life. Yes. Well, no, you're older than me, so you've known me all my life. But I've known you forever. I never knew you were such a big reader until we all became big adults. <laughs> did you read as a kid that I didn't know about? I did. Um, I would say that I probably didn't do a lot of, of reading in school during high school and college um, just because, you know, you're busy doing schoolwork things. But I picked it up again after, uh, after school and have been reading consistently since then. And did you ever want to write a book yourself? Not yet. Um, it's something that actually Joni and I have talked about writing together. But, but the thing about, about books is that 
by writing three or four paragraphs for a blog post when I do a review, I am just in awe of all authors that they can write an entire book of several hundred pages or more and have it all make sense. Uh, I just don't know how anybody can do that. So for people who are at home thinking, oh, yeah, I could write a book. I mean, can the average person really write a book? I mean, you've learned a lot from all these authors you've talked to. How hard is it to write a book? If I were going to do it, and what I would recommend to anybody that was thinking about doing it is take classes. You can take yes. classes uh, you know, in, in school or, or adult classes. And there are many authors locally that will actually give you a class. You know, they'll hold classes to teach how to teach you how to write. That's what I would recommend. And I think there are some books in the bookstore teaching <laughs> you how to write a book. There, <laughs> there are definitely those, yeah. yes. And I mean, we cannot, you know, talking about writing a book, we have to mention your son, my cousin Joshua Russell, because he did write a book. He sure did. He wrote a children's book that was published. Uh, but Joni has also uh, written a published book. That's right. Okay, so let's tell Joshua's book. Yeah, Joshua's book was... <laughs> was a book about um, the baths that he took with his, or that he gave to his son. Yes. Uh, you know, with full illustrations that he hired out. Um, so are you telling me you forgot the name of the book? Correct. Because <laughs> I forgot it too. <laughs> but you can look up Joshua Russell bathtub and it will come up on yeah. Amazon or on Google, right? I forgot it too. <laughs> and I, I went to his autograph yeah. signing day. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so do we dare ask you to mention your wife's book? Do you yes. Know that one? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what is that one called? It's it's part of the Everything series, and it's called. Uh, it's about baby showers. I'm not exactly sure of the the, uh, the full title, but it's a baby shower book that was uh, part of the Everything series, like you know, um, uh, like all the different series that you see in in the stores, you know, where there are different subjects for each of them. So you flunked that test too. <laughs> it does have green binding though. <laughs> So, and I have the book. I should know the title, too. But it was very good because I, I had to do baby shower. So there you have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we're now just waiting for your book. So tell me, what is the deal with bookstores? Everybody's reading, and I know people are buying Kindle and, you know, Amazon, this and that. What's happening to bookstores? Bookstores are actually on, uh, on, on the uptake. Yeah? Uh, yeah, they're starting to come back around again. Uh, last I read, the um, the ebooks were were flat, mm -hmm. uh, and independent bookstores are opening up. We have a lot of, of independent bookstores in the Bay Area. Uh, Books Inc. alone has nine or ten bookstores that are all independent, right. uh, and it's it they're they're really they're really doing more bookstores. They're they're creating more bookstores than uh, than it's than it's been in a long time. A couple of authors have helped that. Ann Patchett, about 10 years ago, uh, she opened a bookstore with a friend, uh, and just her name brought more attention to the independent bookstores. All right, because so, we lost ours in Los Gatos. I know. I but know. we have a great library. Yeah, it is an excellent library. It's a beautiful yeah. library. You ever go in there and check Absolutely. out books? Absolutely. We do it a lot. We get audio books from there. Um, uh, there's a book club there that I belong to that I go to periodically. I mean, it's a great book. It's a great so, library. What do you do for a living that you can fund all this book reading? <laughs> <laughs> you know, something's got to pay for the books. Uh, I have a corporate food service company that uh, my father started uh, back in 61. Your uncle. My uncle Harry. Back in, uh, back in 1961. And I've been doing it with... Uh, I've been doing it since uh, 1975. It started as Have a Snack. It did. And I remember as a little kid going into the closet at his office where it was filled with peanuts and candy and all <laughs> sorts of good stuff. And I have to admit, you know, just looking for books in your house doesn't have the same appeal. <laughs> do you, Fair enough. Do you keep all these books? Uh, no, I keep all the books that I get signed. I probably have 500 signed books from different events that I've been to. Um, but the other ones, uh, after I'm done and I've done my review, uh, I sell them back to Recycle. They take, uh, right. they buy used books back. Um, recycled in Campbell. I'm sorry, Recycle Bookstore in Campbell, yes. right. Now, favorite person you ever went to a book signing Without to? doubt, uh, Ken Follett, who's okay. like a literary oh, yes. god. I uh, was hoping you'd say Regis Philbin. That too. Because he had to be great. He was, and so was Jimmy Carter, although all he did was sign books. And it was after his presidency. Um, but Ken Follett, I, I mean, yeah. I, my jaw dropped just being in his presence. 
Well, that's a big deal really <laughs> for your jaw to drop. Okay, so how pe can people find you? Uh, book Sage? The, the Book Sage, yeah, it's called booksage.blogspot.com is my blog. Um, I Googled Book Sage and it all came up. Okay, all right. I typically don't Google myself, so I didn't know that. Uh, and and uh, we do a number of things at, at Recycle Bookstore. We have a right. book club there where the author comes. Uh, authors can also come on Sunday mornings uh, during the farmer's market and have a place where they can sell their books and, and talk to the, the customers and sign books. All right. Um, and um, uh, the other thing we do is on the blog, um, we, we can promote local authors. So authors that are trying to you know, get some kind of foothold and, and, and platform, you know, we can tell them about that, that on, the, on, the, um, uh, on the blog site. Sure. And, and our, um, our membership list for the book club is over 140, so we can send notices to those as well. Well, I'm sure we can get it up to 141 now. I'm sure. <laughs> so there you go. My cousin, see, that's why I wanted you to meet him. If you love books, you're going to love this guy. Well, maybe you already love him. I do. So, yeah, community storytelling. His wife, Joni nominated him so easy at kcat.org why don't you be the next person to nominate someone because i would love to sit with you i'm lisa chrysler and you've been listening to community storytelling